everyone and a warm welcome to yet another marvelous episode of Esel VIT's official podcast Ruminate. My name is MS Mihir and I will be your host for the day. It is my earnest pleasure to welcome our guest for today's podcast, Mr. Anmol Sharma. Mr. Sharma is a financial literate, content creator and co-founder of finlight.in. With a diverse range of interests and accomplishments, Mr. Anmol has a pool of experience from which young entrepreneurs can gain valuable insights. Throughout this video, riveting insights will be provided, which will prove to be invaluable for every one of the audiences, and especially those with an interest for entrepreneurship and finance. So do stay with us till the end. And without further ado, let us begin. Good afternoon, sir, and welcome to our podcast. Good afternoon, uh, and thank you so much for inviting me here. And uh, thank you, everybody, who is there in this podcast. And let's hope that uh, I can provide some value to you uh, at the end of the podcast. Definitely, sir. We're all looking forward for the same. So, sir, uh, to begin with, my first question. Uh, you freelance, uh, you have co-founded two startups, and you're also an avid financial investor. So, mm -hmm. is all this out of your passion for entrepreneurship alone? Or what mm -hmm. is it that led you to build such a diverse profile all while you were also pursuing your degree? So, like before uh, starting this question, I would like to tell you my background. So basically, I just graduated recently from NIT Jalandhar. So I did my uh, B.Tech from Instrumentation and Control Engineering. So uh, like obviously, uh, I cleared J.E. mains. I got into NIT. But uh, in the first year, my sole like motive was to get a job to uh, pursue a career in uh, core electronics. But uh, after one year, I started reading Rashmi Bansar books on entrepreneurship. So I'll like honestly say that my entrepreneurship journey started with the books. So someone like my senior recommended me ki ye book padho Rashmi Bansar ki. So I started reading it and like over the next few months, I read all and each and every book of Rashmi Bansar. Then I started reading investing and uh, marketing finance books. So I will like, I would be brutally honest to tell you that my uh, entrepreneurship journey started with the books. And uh, Obviously, uh, being in a good college helps you a lot. You get uh, seniors who help you a lot as you are in ESL. So I was also the head of ESL uh, in my final year. So yeah, uh, these good clubs uh, get you the exposure. You meet with the right people. You are in a uh, like bunch of a talented people who are way smarter than you. So obviously, the culture of the college uh, provided me the exposure so I can get uh, or pursue my entrepreneurship journey. And uh, you will see on Instagram, on YouTube, a lot of people will tell you that degree matter ni karti or college education is not important. You can be a self learner. Obviously, these things are important, but I always tell my people, my followers, that degree is important if you do it from a right college, from right uh, institution. So yeah, my college or my entrepreneurship journey started with the books, uh, but I gave a lot of credit to my college, my friends and my seniors. Right, sir. So also as an investor, uh, mm. since you're so deeply into investing, will there be any difference if you had to advise on investing to any individual compared to if you had to advise to an entrepreneur? Uh, so like there won't be any much drastic difference, but obviously if you are an entrepreneur, you know the business uh, things uh, of the business, uh, you know how to read financial statements, uh, you have a business mind, mindset so you can like analyze uh, what will be the future of the company how this company is going to make money in the next five year ten years so uh, obviously the fundamentals won't change for any person even if you are advising to a normal person or a person who is in a business but uh, like fundamentals will be same key companies achieve don't know financial checker or you have to study the management of the company and how they are uh, like looking forward to take the company in the next five ten years but yeah, since uh, for the person who is in this entrepreneurship journey, maybe he can understand business side uh, of any particular company uh, like very well uh, than a normal person. So fundamentals won't change. But yeah, the person who is in entrepreneurship, 
uh, maybe he can understand a uh, business more better than a normal person yes sir definitely i think uh, all of us especially in excel will look to understand the business side of investing more compared to anybody else exactly uh, yes yeah, sir moving on uh, we live in such a digitally driven world today so uh, based on how fast everything is changing what would you encourage to invest on sir uh, the traditional stocks or the uprising digital currency so like as you know that uh, generation z is facing or like seeing a lot of financial instruments uh, nowadays you can invest in any cryptocurrencies jab bhi wo famous bhi nahi hote people invest in that cryptocurrency as that uh, i know some of my juniors uh, who has a portfolio worth more like rupees and they have invested uh, like 100% of their capital onto uh, like bitcoin and cryptocurrencies only so yeah nfts ka itna pad raha hai so generation z is uh, like because we lack uh, patience we are more prone to instant gratification we want to double our money in 21 days so we have the mindset to invest in uh, that investment options which can give you uh, enough and quick returns but yeah since you know that uh, us uh, stock market nyse new york uh, stock exchange started in 1792 and bitcoin and all these cryptocurrency started in 2008 so obviously uh, i am not discouraging anyone to not invest in nfts or bit, uh, cryptocurrencies but yeah since traditional stocks traditional businesses have been there since the last uh, 200 300 years so they are more reliable they have uh, like gone through every recession depression they have seen lots of ups and downs but the newer or you can say the modern and traditional uh, modern investment options like cryptocurrencies or nfts unhone bahut zyada ups and downs nahi dekhe they have not seen uh, economic uh, downturn as well as since it is a bull run uh, everyone is investing in everywhere so uh, since uh, you can't testify a particular investment option if uh, the investment option has not seen a bear so bull run mein paisa banana and to invest is very easy but to invest in a bear run is a more difficult task so you can't judge your investing skills uh, just by seeing a bull run ki maine paisa lagaya ek saal mein double ho gaya so wo sab ka paisa double hua you are not the only one to like make your uh, money double so ultimately i would su- suggest that even if you are investing in uh, relatively newer investment options uh, cryptocurrency nft so first of all you should know what investment options these are pehle padho samjho then you can only invest 5 to 10% of your total portfolio or total investment options that you invest every month so stick with the fundamentals stick with stocks because they have been since last uh, three centuries uh, so yeah uh, majority of your money should go towards traditional investment options but yeah some of the money can go towards newer investment options definitely sir Uh, also you are a very avid content creator it is clearly visible from all your uh, social media pages and your startups uh, and you engage your audience with a lot of diverse content so how do you like to emphasize on the importance of content in an entrepreneur's journey sir so obviously content is the king and uh, as people say ki content is a new kind of asset for every company and you can see if you know grow so grow is a investment platform but they have a youtube channel close to like more than a million followers they have a uh, like active instagram page so they are more or less focused orient uh, towards content as well so they have a dedicated website blogging website so where they uh, like tell you about all the stock market research fund concept and at the end of the blog wo likh dete hai ki if you want to invest uh, you you can use grow so ultimately content uh, is a kind of a marketing is a form of marketing where you can promote your products very subtle in a very subtle manner so aapko aisa nahi hai ki bahut zyada promotion karna padega you can just integrate your promotion in a content form so uh, for example zomato zomato is a food delivery app but if you have followed their social media handles you would know ki wo kitna meme ke upar focus karte hain they focus on trends uh they just try to entertain their audience uh they create memes around foods uh they create meet uh, memes around netflix series squid games kuch bhi uh, even paytm and the best example and the best indian startup that i love uh, which is using content in a very subtle form is uh, bevco 
if you have followed their instagram page they create memes and uh, their page is so much uh, like so much following they, their page has so much following engagement rate is so high so ultimately uh, content is not a way to directly uh, promote your product and services but yeah you can promote or you can have a impact in the users or uh, customers mind ki yeah we exist uh, because uh, suppose someone is scrolling on social media and uh, someone is seeing the memes or ads or maybe post of zomato bevco so ultimately subconscious mind me the people have a recall uh, recall value that yeah zomato koi cheez hai bevco.com is something so i can like if you i want to order t-shirts i can go through uh, bevco so ultimately uh, content is a game long term game through which you can uh, ultimately indirectly promote your product and services and have a uh, subconsciously you can create a recall value in the customer's mind so and i'm going to ask my next question is going to be very similar like if content is king then social media is the platform through which you uh, publicize it so be it knowledge or engagement or visibility social media today is the go to place for everything so uh, what would you, uh, you advise or what are the tips you would give for budding entrepreneurs on how to maximize or uh, get the most out of this tools uh, social media as a tool so as you said like you can use your uh, social media platforms for knowledge engagement and visibility so yahi teen kaam hai basically and if you are someone who is trying to build uh, a startup and you are using content uh, in one such form then ultimately uh, you can be uh, or your strategy can be to provide value to the customers and value can be provided only by if you are able to educate people so maybe uh, if you are in a food business you can create educational content around food if you are in a exercise fintech business you can create post where you are educating or teaching people so for for for, uh, for example in my case i am in financial domain so basically i do not like my strategy is not to follow trending topics or current topics ki us pe par post bana diya my strategy is to create long term evergreen content which is educational in one way and which can provide uh, value to the people even after 10 years so someone who is reading my post now even if he or she wants to read after 10 years so maybe the post will be valuable in a like same manner jitni aaj valuable hai utni 10 saal baad bhi hogi so you can like create a educational uh, content form of content and another strategy can be memes ki uh, jo bhi trending hai you can create memes around it and for a business who uh, jinka directly content is uh, is not their business for someone like zomato or bevco uh, uh, like if they are creating educational form of content uh, for them maybe it won't be a very good strategy so what zomato and bevco does is they create memes around that so that so as to uh, ki wo viral ho jaye people will get to know more about zomato and bevco and ultimately wo recall value aa jati customers ke mind mein jisko hum bolte hain visibility so uh, it depends on your strategy or where you want to take your start, uh, startup uh, in the next few years so ultimately you can uh, choose a path of educating people you can create educational form of content you can create a uh, entertainment or info infotainment uh, form of content or otherwise you can uh, create a trendy content news ke upar bana sakte ho memes and etc so ultimately aapki strategy uh, depend karti kaise rahegi but yeah obviously content is a very subtle form of marketing where you can uh, get to engage with your customers and uh, jahan pe aap indirectly subtle way mein apne product product and services promote kar sakte ho yes sir so like you already mentioned you started your entrepreneurial journey with books and uh, uske baad you have gone on to uh, successfully found two different startups also mm-hmm. so uh, would you please elaborate on some of the challenges you faced while traversing this path while founding these startups okay uh, so as i said like uh, i started reading books in the first year and i was so obsessed ki i want to find a com- uh, found a company i want to start my startup so like if you have read uh, the book by simon sinek start with why so uh, i started my first startup without uh, knowing the reason why i am starting this startup 
सो आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू स्टार्ट स्टार्टअप तो मैंने कर दिया बट अल्टीमेटली आफ्टर डूइंग इट फॉर सेवन एट मंथ आई डेड लाइक वन पॉइंट टू लैक्स ऑफ रेवेन्यू डेट वॉज बहुत अच्छी अमाउंट थी बैक इन माई कॉलेज ईयर्स बट आई डिड नॉट है पर्पज एंड द रीजन वाई आई एम डूइंग दिस सो अल्टीमेटली वेन यू डू नॉट है वाई फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर थिंग वेन यू स्टार्ट इट की बिकॉज आपको करना था तो ऑब्वियसली यू वॉन्ट बी एबल टू सस्टेन इट फॉर लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम एंड दैट वट हैपन विद माई फर्स्ट स्टार्टअप एंड ऑल्सो द सेकेंड चैलेंज आई फेस विद माई फर्स्ट स्टार्टअप वॉज दैट आई वॉज अ काइंड ऑफ अ सेल्फ इम्प्लॉय इन माई ओन बिजनेस बट इफ यू आर क्रिएटिंग अ बिजनेस और इफ यू आर क्रिएटिंग अ स्टार्टअप यू हैव टू क्रिएट कि इवन इफ यू आर नॉट देयर इन द स्टार्टअप द कंपनी और द बिजनेस रन विदाउट यू इट शुड नॉट बी द थिंग कि Uh, you are doing everything, and once you are not there in the business, your startup dies. So I was kind of a self-employed in my business. I was not doing business or startup. I was doing the self-employed kind of a thing. So let me tell you, my first startup was around uh, providing professional services to people in Jalandhar, like uh, carpenter services, electrician services, or maybe if you want any kind of repairing services, laptop, mobile repairing. so i used to do that in my college and in nearby jalandhar area uh, jalandhar punjab so uh, that's where i felt that you also need a team uh, uh, so even like and you also need to assign roles and responsibilities to the uh, every individual so it should not be the case that you are handling everything so in starting it is fine that obviously in starting you have to do everything but as you grow as you progress uh, you need to delegate responsibilities and as a founder uh, your responsibility should uh, to have a vision to aapka kaam sirf labor wala nahi ho jata aapka kaam thoda dimag wala ho jata hai and uh, when i started this financial related page uh, on january 2020 then uh, meko pata tha ki uh, the mistakes that i have done with my first startup so i started with a vision i started with a purpose why i am doing this and uh, like everything is going well as of now we are Uh, like uh, doing uh, new and new things every day so we started with instagram pages uh, then we uh, successfully created three instagram pages we are building a youtube channel so for the next uh, one and two years our mission is to build our youtube channel we are working on our website parallelly uh, we have also started creating content for b2b businesses in like create so we are providing content services to other businesses so ultimately uh, as a founder uh, as a founder as i said कि आपका दिमाग तो मतलब आपका काम होना चाहिए थोड़ा सोचना लाइक इट शुड नॉट बी यू आर डूइंग एवरीथिंग बट सोचने वाला दिमाग होना चाहिए एंड इन दिस स्टार्टअप इन माय सेकंड स्टार्टअप फाइनेंशियल रिलेटेड ऑफ इन लाइफ द बिगेस्ट चैलेंज दैट आई एम फेसिंग इज टू क्रिएट अ बेस्ट फाउंडिंग टीम तो लोग आते हैं दे वर्क विद यू बट दे लेफ्ट आफ्टर फ्यू मंथ्स बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली वेन यू आर अ स्टार्टअप यू वॉन्ट बी एबल टू प्रोवाइड दम सफिशियंट मॉनिटरी बेनिफिट सो कैसे लोगों को होल्ड करना है and how uh, to let them see the vision that you you like you see yourself so vision dikhana aur ek achhi team banana uh, that's the biggest challenge baki startup ho jata hai uh, you can hire a product team or kuch bhi uh, developer ko hire karke you can create a app website but ultimately uh, creating a few founding members which can be with you for the next 10 years to so wo biggest challenge hai also sir as uh, this is one thing entrepreneurs often do uh, people pursue multiple jobs while they also pursue their entrepreneurial vision so what are your views on this kind of a career mode sir uh, like if you are starting or uh, thinking of starting a startup to ye karna hi padega aapko you for example in my case uh, when i started i used to write content used to write design uh, script writing emails brand collaborations डीएम की रिप्लाई करने कॉमेंट की रिप्लाई करने मार्केटिंग एवरीथिंग यू हैव टू डू योर सेल्फ बट एज यू ग्रो एज ए सेड यू नीड टू डेलीकेट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी अदरवाइज यू विल बी काइंड ऑफ अ सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयड इन योर बिजनेस एज ए सेड सो स्टार्टिंग में करना पड़ेगा बट एज यू ग्रो यू नीड टू हायर पीपल यू नीड टू हैव अ गुड फाउंडिंग टीम विद यू कैन डेलीकेट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज एंड अल्टीमेटली एज ए सेड मैं यही चीज बार बार बोल रहा हूँ बट या इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो यू हैव टू बी अ विजनरी लीडर तो आप सोचो कि आप स्टार्टअप को लाइक अपने स्टार्टअप को कैसे लेके जाना चाहते हो तो दैट शुड बी योर को रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी 
and to manage team uh, instead of doing this labor manual work but yeah uh, in the beginning aapko ye sare jobs karne hi padte hain even i designed my first website myself so you have to do all this stuff uh, on your own when you are starting so so uh, you're a very avid financial enthusiast so if you had to define entrepreneurship in financial terms sir would you call it a long term investment or a short term rise and fall <laughs> i would call it a mix of both long term rise and fall so actually it is a long term game and you have to see a lots of uh, ups and downs so yeah it is a long term game and uh, wo graph kuch aisa jata hai it goes a zig uh, zigzag up and down but wo agar if you are a passionate and if you have done a few initial things right then maybe uske direction upwards hi hogi so yeah long term uh, rise and fall so and uh, today in india especially in india so many successful startups uh, are launching their ipos especially this year so many have so would you like to reiterate the importance of taking a company public like you had mentioned back in one of your posts in august where you had mentioned about the importance of ipos and the major brands and startups which had launched their ipos so what is the importance of taking a company public uh so obviously like uh, uh, indian startup ecosystem is growing at a very rapid pace and uh, it is ultimately benefiting the whole indian ecosystem indian startup ecosystem so when a startup raises money and when uh, it gets listed uh, to the ipo or goes to the stock market uh, so ultimately sirf wo nahi hai ki us startup ke logon ko fayda hua uh, the whole indian startup ecosystem will get benefited by it. so when zomato launched its ipo successfully so ab swiggy paytm and nike all these uh, startups are also uh, like looking to raise money so ultimately uh, it creates wealth it uh, creates job and uh, uh, when you invest in a startup obviously you also get to uh, be a part of uh, that startup or you become the owner of the startup and uh, as you might know that uh, uh, as of now uh, india have around 66 or 68 unicorns and out of those 68 66 uh, 28 unicorns have been uh, established or have attained the status of unicorn in 2021 alone सो पहले कुछ सालों में लाइक पूरे इंडिया के हिस्ट्री में सिर्फ तीस पैंतीस बने थे एंड जस्ट इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी कितना बुल रन है बट या इवन इफ इट इज अल रन ऑब्वियसली यू हैव टू वर्क कुछ स्टार्टअप में वो बात होनी चाहिए डेट्स वाई यू आर गेटिंग वन बिलियन डॉलर वैल्यूएशन सो इट इज वेरी गुड फॉर होल इंडियन इको सिस्टम और डायरेक्टली इन डायरेक्टली कंट्री को ही फायदा होने वाला है एंड ऑल्सो लाइक इंडियन स्टार्टअप है जस्ट इनिशियल सेवन मंथ ऑफ ट्वेंटी रिकॉर्ड ऑफ ट्वेंटी पॉइंट फाइव बिलियन डॉलर सो इतना पैसा जब बाहर से आ रहा है सो ऑब्वियसली द फॉरन इंस्टीट्यूशन इन्वेस्टर्स उनको लग रहा है कि इंडिया में कुछ है इंडियन स्टार्टअप में कुछ है डेट्स वाई दे आर इन्वेस्टिंग इन इंडियन स्टार्टअप सो पूरे कंट्री का ही फायदा होने वाला है सर डेफिनेटली एंड वी डिस्कस्ड ऑलरेडी अबाउट द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ कंटेंट एंड यू आल्सो इलैबोरेटेड ऑन द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कंटेंट बट इट्स सच अ कॉम्पिटेटिव मार्केट टुडे एवरीवेयर लाइक यू जस्ट मेंशन 28 ऑफ देम बिकेम यूनिकॉर्न्स इन जस्ट दिस ईयर सो हाउ डू न्यू स्टार्टअप्स और इवन एग्जिस्टिंग स्टार्टअप्स स्टैंड आउट फ्रॉम द क्राउड इन क्रिएटिंग कंटेंट फॉर देयर ओन ब्रांड बिकॉज़ there are 10 different companies uh, creating memes but how is it that your meme can stand out or how can your content stand out from the others uh, so actually yahi mera answer bhi tha so ultimately obviously as you said a lot of companies lot of startups are focusing on content everybody realizes the importance of content uh, but ultimately uh, who will win uh, the startup that will win uh, who has the most creativity so uh, you have to if you want to stand out from the crowd uh, you have to be creative so creativity and also like in india creativity is not very much appreciated so if you uh, like hire a designer aur usko kahoge ki aap logo bana do and if uh, wo designer kehta hai ki aapko 10000 ka ek logo bana ke dunga uh, like 99.9% of the people uh, 
want designer logo from the designer because usne 10000 bol diya but you can't put a tag price tag uh, on creativity so uh, uh, if you deal with foreign clients so they appreciate creativity aur jitna paisa bologe they will give that because they know ki uh, when you are writing content obviously content is a creative thing so you have to be at a very peace of mind ki aap bahut creatively likho if you are a designer so these are things which require very uh, very much creativity and uh, uh, creativity is not very much appreciated in india especially agar aap monetary us pe tag laga dete ho so if you want to stand out as i said uh, you have to be very best uh, you have to hire good people uh, like in netflix uh, if you have read uh, the founders book their founders book read hasting so uh, first point he mentioned in that book is that i want to hire most talented bunch of people in my startup in my company so when you hire uh, like when you increase your talent dens- uh, density in your company so obviously uh, all of the people will grow automatically because ek banda dusre se seekhega dusra teesre se seekhega and ultimately that loops uh, continues so uh, hiring smart people best people and uh, appreciating creativity uh, is the like best way by which you can stand up, stand out from the crowd yes sir i think that is something our uh, especially indian uh, corporate culture should adopt like you exactly. mentioned so unka kya hota hai ki indian corporate culture is all about 9 to 5 pm uh, unko lagta hai ki agar banda 8 ghante kaam karega then uh, then they only can us se matlab wo paisa agar if they are paying 1 lakh rupees to that person agar wo आठ घंटे के काम चार घंटे में कर दे तो इंडियन पीपल और इंडियन कॉर्पोरेट कल्चर विल नॉट अप्रिशिएट दैट पर्सन बिकॉज दे आर पेइंग वन लैख रुपीज टू दैट पर्सन टू वर्क एट आवर्स अ डे बट दे डू नॉट अप्रिशिएट प्रोडक्टिविटी दे डू नॉट अप्रिशिएट क्रिएटिविटी सो इसलिए बाहर का कल्चर इसलिए ही ज्यादा स्मार्ट है एंड वाई यूएस पीपल और फॉरनर्स आर वेरी क्रिएटिव और ये सारी चीजें एन जितने ब्लॉक चेन्स वो बना रहे हैं uh, सारे वो ही बना रहे हैं इंडिया में कुछ नहीं बन रहा एक आधा ही कुछ बन रहा है बट अल्टीमेटली वाई दे आर ऑल डूइंग दिस बिकॉज दे हैव द क्रिएटिविटी विद देम तो वो उनको अप्रिशिएट करते हैं लोग पेरेंट्स अप्रिशिएट करते हैं उनका कल्चर क्रिएटिविटी को अप्रिशिएट करता है सो ये लाइक यू हैव टू बी क्रिएटिव टू बिन स्टैंड आउट फ्रॉम दिनेटली सर एंड वाइल बी डिस्कस्ड इनफ अबाउट हाउ इम्पॉर्टेंट गुड कॉन्टेंट एंड हाउ इम्पॉर्टेंट इट इज टू स्टैंड आउट Uh, another core aspect and also a, a domain of your interest as we have come to realize is marketing right. so what is the secret to effective marketing according to you in terms of content in general terms so marketing it could be social media or other ways how can a startup or an entrepreneur what is the secret to mastering how to market uh, so like if you want to market your product and services firstly you have to uh, understand the product ki ye product iske liye uh, who is the person who will be uh, using this product and also you need to understand your audience so their paying capacity how much they can afford to pay for your product and uh, like their spending habits or maybe their age gender demographics so you have to know or you want to know the insights of all these things because uh, that what we call data analytics so you have to just uh, go through the data of your customers so as to understand uh, like who they are what they do and how they do what they do so you have to understand your audience first and then uh, if you are marketing your product it should be very personalized so uh, if you have uh, like agar aap customer care ke kisi bhi company ya startups ke usme aap wo dalo कि आई हैव सम प्रॉब्लम एंड उनका अगर ईमेल आता है सो इफ दैट ईमेल इज कस्टमाइज्ड सो उसका इंपैक्ट कितना ज्यादा होगा कि डियर अनमोल शर्मा वी सॉ दैट यू आर फेसिंग दिस दिस इज प्रॉब्लम और एक कोई हो कि एक जनरल टेम्पलेट वाला ईमेल है सो इफ यू आर क्रिएटिंग समथिंग वेरी कस्टमाइजेबल फॉर योर कस्टमर्स तो उसका इंपैक्ट बहुत ज्यादा होता है एंड सपोज इफ यू आर लाइक बहुत सारे स्टार्टअप्स हैं फैम पे फॉर एग्जांपल व्हेन दे इशू अ डेबिट कार्ड फॉर देयर यंग पीपल और जो 11 से 17 साल जो भी उनके टारगेट ऑडियंस है सो व्हेन दे डिजाइन द होल बॉक्स क्रेडिट कार्ड जिसमें पूरा आता है सो दैट इज वेरी कस्टमाइजेबल उनका नाम लिखा होता है और लाइक पीपल को वो फील आता है कि हां दिस डेबिट कार्ड हैज बीन स्पेशली मेड फॉर मी 
so your marketing message should be very personal and it should be uh, or also you need to give a call to action so whenever you are marketing uh, via uh, like video through a video or through a content so maybe you can give a subtle call to action for example when grow uh, writes its blog so if you have seen uh, grow website blogging website so obviously they provide a thousand word blog or usme value hi value hai but whenever they can uh, promote their product for example uh, ek itna bada blog likha uske beech mein hi agar uh, unko opportunity mil rahi hai ki if you want to invest in this mutual fund you can use grow if you want to invest in this stock you can use grow so obviously when you give a call to action to uh, ye sari cheeze so there are lot of other things but yeah uh, you have to understand your audience it should be personalized message and uh, giving a call to action or uh, ye sari cheeze if you want to market yes sir i and another important aspect uh, apart from marketing and content is uh, so many startups they do follow some of the necessary stuff and some don't but many startups fail after a certain period because of uh, mismanagement of finances especially uh, they run out they are bankrupt or anything else and uh, what advice would you give to such startups who if they want to intend to last what should they do uh, so like uh, this is a very uh, famous line from a book uh, like uh, romancing the balance sheet by anil lamar so in the starting of the book he says ki uh, every person in the organization does not feel that he is a finance guy but if you study the impact that every employee who is taking a particular decision has directly or indirectly or that decision directly or indirectly impacts the financial statements or the like profitability of the company then he or she is a finance person and if you evaluate uh, this thing so you will find that 100% of your employees are finance people so even if the security guard uh, in your organization in your startup agar aapke company ka security guard bhi hai so he or she directly or indirectly impacts your business so you have to understand that or you have to realize or uh, you have to educate your employees your people that jo bhi aap decision lete ho wo impact karta hai at the end of the day it impacts directly or indirectly so हर किसी को बेसिक फाइनेंस सिखाना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है सो डेट ही और शी नोज डेट द डिसीजन ही इज और शी इज टेकिंग कि वो कंपनी के लिए बेनिफिट रहेगा या वो कंपनी को बेनिफिट नहीं करेगा एंड दिस डिसीजन शुड बी बैक बाय डेटा तो सपोज इफ अ पर्सन हैज टू ऑप्शंस कि ये मैं डिसीजन लूँ ये डिसीजन लूँ तो अगर वो इफ वी टेक दैट डिसीजन बाई यूजिंग सम डेटा देन मे बी ही और शी कैन लाइक take a better decision and i am not saying ki you should not believe in your instincts or you should not or not go with your gut feelings because ms dhoni ki captaincy puri waisi hoti hai ki gut feeling aur instincts ke sath jana but uh, whenever your decision is backed by data or whenever the people in your organization knows the basics of uh, finances or unko thoda bahut idea rehta hai so whenever they will be taking decisions so wo company ko acche way mein hi back karega and there are less chances that the company will go bankrupt so ultimately har kisi ko finance sikhana and uh, to like har kisi ko freedom dena so as to take decisions uh, which is good for the company definitely sir and uh, to ask you the big question that everybody asks to an entrepreneur or to anybody in today's world how would you define success sir uh in financial or entrepreneurial terms or in uh, your own words for that matter uh, like it's a very tough question so as people say ki success is a state of mind so uh for someone it can be ki i want to be a millionaire i want to be a billionaire i want to earn 1000 crore rupees but uh, if you are asking in financial terms to ye kisi ke liye if you assign a number or how much money i will earn in the future will define my success so that success won't be uh, like that success won't last forever because suppose if you have uh, attained the status of billionaire a uh, millionaire sorry so aapka fir ab man karega ki main billionaire jaun billionaire ban gaye to wo jaun or like it's a continuous process but uh, success uh, should not be defined by numbers or it should not be a quantitative process it should be a qualitative process so if you are happy if you are sleeping peacefully at the end of the day 
and if you are doing something which is impacting the lives of people so entrepreneurship ki uh, financial ki definition uh, i call that success so if you are uh, and doing but uh, and entrepreneurship ki journey mein uh, or entrepreneur uh, entrepreneurship ki definition mein uh, i would say ki uh, if you are doing something that impacts the life of people for example uh, uh, i read a lot of books i read a lot of magazines and i always share on my instagram stories तो आई डो नॉट शो कि मैं यहाँ होटल में खाना खा रहा हूँ या मैं यहाँ वो कर रहा हूँ आई डो नॉट लाइक मेरे को ज्यादा पसंद नहीं है कि मैं अपनी अच्छी अच्छी चीजें लोगों के शेयर करूँ आई शेयर ओनली दो थिंग्स इन माई इंस्टाग्राम स्टोरीज विच कैन क्रिएट अ सम पॉजिटिव इम्पैक्ट ऑन द लाइफ ऑफ पीपल तो मैं डेढ़ साल से बुक्स की स्टोरीज डाल रहा हूँ एंड आई एम प्राउड इनफ टू से दैट लॉट ऑफ पीपल हैव फॉलोड दैट बुक्स और जो मैं बुक पढ़ता हूँ फिर वो सौ लोग और खरीदते हैं वो पढ़ते हैं सो उससे बड़ी बात क्या हो सकती है कि यू आर डूइंग समथिंग विच इज इम्पेक्टिंग द लाइफ ऑफ पीपल सो वो बुक पढ़ के एक अच्छे इन्वेस्टर बनेंगे फ्यूचर में एंड दे आर लर्निंग समथिंग आउट ऑफ दिस सो ऑन्टरप्रनरशिप की डेफिनेशन में आई वुड से कि डूइंग समथिंग वट यू लव एंड क्रिएटिंग सम इम्पैक्ट इन द लाइफ ऑफ पीपल इज सक्सेस फॉर मी एंड इन फाइनेंशियल टर्म्स आई विल से इफ यू हैव जनरेटेड इनफ मनी कि यू कैन लिव पीसफुली मतलब पैसा इंपॉर्टेंट है ऑब्वियसली बट अगर आपने उतना सफिशियंट मतलब पैसा जोड़ लिया विच कैन बी इनफ टू फॉर ए टू कवर योर एक्सपेंसिस देन आई वुड से यू आर सक्सेसफुल एंड इफ यू कैन लिव पीसफुली एंड हैप्पी आई आई पर्सनली कैनॉट एग्री विद यू मोर सर बिकॉज दैट्स हाउ इवन आई बिलीव ऑन्टरप्रनरशिप आई थिंक यू पुट इट परफेक्टली इन द लाइन दैट ऑन्टरप्रनरशिप a uh, success in entrepreneurship is how much you impact the lives of others i think that is best said by you and uh, lastly sir uh, what specific message would you like to give all the entrepreneurs and financial enthusiasts who are viewing this podcast so like the best thing i would say ki uh, read learn or read a lot because uh, our generation has grown up using internet social media 4g internet so uh, zyada time they spend on social media but uh, reading is something ki agar aapko grow karna hai to usse best cheez kuch nahi ho sakti and uh, there are some people who uh, prefer to listen audio books but uh, if you scientifically it is proven that when you read uh, uh, you have the space or you have the uh, what i say ki aapke pa time hota hai uh, kuch seconds ka so as you can think so while reading you can think a lot but while you are just listening audio books so wo ya to aap so jaoge or ultimately uh, you won't be able to take decisions effectively bas aap sun rahe ho but you are not thinking you are just listening you are not thinking so read a lot and stay away from social media i am not saying ki 100% hi bilkul ho jao but at least uh, you should try to devote less time to social media because all these social media platforms have been designed in a such a way that you should uh, that you spend more time matlab zyada se zyada time aapko spend karna padega they have been made so addictive that if you follow football so your whole search box will be full uh, filled with full, uh, football videos and if you start uh, scrolling one video so you won't be realize ki maine kaise pure 100 videos dekh li aur 2 ghante nikal gaye so ultimately you should be smart enough uh, when to use social media and how much to use social media because social media se aap zyada gain nahi karne wale and even if you are using social media make sure that it goes towards a productive cause uh, you should follow some good pages which are providing some valuable content ki aap agar at least use bhi kar rahe ho so it should be ki aap you are learning something as well and uh, uh, saving money investing money so because i am from financial background so best advice would be to save money even if you are in your 20s so you should know uh, some basic financial terms compounding or inflation and as you know that uh, if you are starting your investment journey in your 20s maybe you can accumulate enough money for your retirement uh, uh, in comparison to the person who is starting at the age of 40 so start early uh, with your investments so even uh, even if you are starting with the, your pocket money from your parents agar 1000 2000 rupees bhi hai it doesn't matter the amount doesn't matter in the long run uh, compounding will work in your favor uh, when you give time to your investments for example uh, warren buffett made 99.7% of his wealth so his current wealth is around 100 billion dollars 
So out of those hundred billion dollars, ninety nine point seven percent of the total wealth uh, was made after the age of fifty one. So why? Because he started at the age of eleven and he is still going strong at the age of ninety one, ninety two. So because uh, he gave his investments a total of eighty years of time, so that's why he was like able to make more money than any any other uh, famous investors. Because you won't believe that Warren Buffett was. Warren Buffett made only twenty two percent annual returns, but there are some people uh, who have made forty uh, percent annual returns. But they are not as famous or they are not as popular than Warren Buffett. Why? Because uh, they made forty uh, percent uh, annual returns for only twenty years, thirty years. But Warren Buffett made twenty two percent of annual returns uh, during eighty years. So ultimately, his uh, like his skill is uh, investing, but his secret is time. So. You have to start as early as possible to uh, like get your investments or give your investments the time so as to compound. So yeah, saving investment and reading, learning, and staying away from social media. Thank you, sir. I mean, uh, it was uh, very enlightening and really informative. It was a pleasure talking to you, sir. And I'm sure everybody who attended our podcast today is more financially literate than they were before this. So uh, thank you once again sir for your valuable time and expertise and do stay safe. Thank uh, you. Sir. Thank you so much Mihir. Thank you. Mihir right? Yes sir. Mihir. Okay. Thank you so much Mihir. And so, thank you every thank you everybody who was there in the session. So this is it from me viewers. The end of the 6th episode of Ruminate featuring Mr. Anmol Sharma. Do like this podcast and also drop a comment. Stay tuned for our next episode and don't forget to hit the bell icon if you still haven't to subscribe for many more of our podcasts. Thank you and bye bye.